Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kamori stand here at Drupa 2016 and to our demonstration of the Lithrone GX40 printing press. My operator is your own, he's going to do a wonderful job for you, but first let's talk about connected print. IoT, the Internet of Things, where all things are connected over the Internet, has begun. By 2020, it's estimated that 50 billion devices will be connected over the network, and printing presses are no exception. So with that in mind, before we start printing, if you'd just like to take at the monitor here, this is KP Connect. Now, KP Connect is a cutting-edge IoT solution for optimization of the press and the printing work, and it's based on detailed operating information shared by the printing company. The next thing, the Komori K-Station for printing task control software, and that connects all processes by CIP4 and JDF. Now, the K-Station 4 printing scheduler is shown here on the screen of my tablet, or you can use a smartphone, and you can check the scheduling results really quickly. So let's see what we're doing today in the scheduling window. We're doing two jobs. We'll start with 300 sheets. The first job, which is this one, the food packaging. And then we'll change plates and do a 400 job of pharmaceutical packaging. And both will be sent directly to post press. Now, if you'd like more details about the case station four, do head over to the ICT zone just behind you after this demonstration. Okay, you're on, let's go. Thank you. Now, the imposition we're printing is this 10 beer packages. Repellent duct varnish is applied here in the sixth unit and the drip-off effect is produced by the reaction with the high-gloss coating which is applied by the coater. The Lithrone GX40 is Komori's flagship machine and it has a maximum print speed of 18,000 SPH. The PQAS version 5 print quality assessment system with the 4K camera is equipped here in the upsweep of the delivery. The quality is further enhanced with the KCB Komori chamber system and the KDS Komori drying system. Okay, for this demonstration, the packaging jobs will be cured by one HUV lamp. Thank you very much. And for the inks, Komori K Supply Ink, KG911, is used even for the special colours and the varnish. So please do come and take a look at the quality of the samples now coming off the press for yourself. Okay, so the first job is well underway. The Lithrone GX40 can be equipped with non-stop feeder, non-stop delivery, and also a range of logistics systems to handle long runs of package printing. The demand for quality control is growing increasingly strict in the packaging market. So while the ch job changeover occurs now, let's just talk about some of Komori's quality control systems for packaging. First, we have the operating console. It's the foundation of quality management. It's equipped with the new KHS AI and it's designed for ease of use with LED lighting. The console provides a stable ISO standard print assessment environment and it saves energy. The PDC SX here, the spectral print density control, is built into the new operating console and it measures color and register in just one process and it provides feedback to the press. Also, the measurement data is displayed here on the KID Komori Info Service Display. And oh, that's the large monitor right in front of your own, our operator. Okay, the PDCSX is able to measure spot colors. And this is really effective for overall uh, color control on the packaging, and particularly with special colors. Also, the PDF comparator system can be incorporated into the PDCSX. SX. 
Now this system performs inspection by comparing the PDF, which is the digital data, with the actual printed item that's been scanned by the sensors. And this is especially important in pharmaceutical and food packaging where no defects are acceptable at all. And the system inspects for a range of defects starting with defective characters. Not even one defect is left unnoticed during the printing process. The PQAS version 5 print quality assessment system detects even extremely small defects by inspecting with its high precision 4K camera here in the upsweep of the delivery. And if a defect is found, it's displayed with blinking on the KID screen, as you can see on the video there. Okay, traceability, when a defect occurs, is an important factor. So a sheet numbering system is equipped above the feeder board of the Lithrone GX40, and that prints a serial number on all of the sheets. By linking the numbers on the sheets with the inspection results of the PQAS, the inspection results and the defective sheets can be reliably checked, and that leads to a higher level of incident prevention. And the PDF comparison and detection will be demonstrated in a moment during our second job. So we'll continue to play change at the moment. Take a quick look at this sample. It's a food package. And printing on both sides of the board is becoming more and more common in the marketplace. Now, this type of job can easily be produced on the Lithrone GX40RP, which is to your left-hand side on the stand, with its double-sided printing for one-pass production of packaging. And that brings about a tremendous increase in efficiency. In Japan, a prominent printing packaging company called Yokohama Littera have already installed a Lithrone GX40RP with three colors over seven, a Kota, and double pile delivery specifications alongside its Lithrone GX40. And this is raising its overwhelming production efficiency to meet the diverse needs of their customers. This GX40 is a double pile specification, so non-stop production is possible by having one for production sheets and the other for waste sheets. Right, so changeover is finished and the second job will start. So we're just going to take a look at the image on the KID, which you can follow on the monitors. Your own is first checking for densities and register with the PDC-SX. For special colors, control and feedback can be performed with LAB. And this is a powerful advantage in packaging, which requires stringent quality controls. Next, we check for register. And as you can see, the densities and register are good to go. So you've seen for yourself the power of quick startup by the KHS AI. Now in packaging, requirements for strict quality control include not only color and register, but also quality problems such as stains and scratches. And in the past, the operators had to check the quality of each in position individually. But with this PDF, comparator system, color and register checking, and inspection by comparison with the digital data are all performed at once. So scanning's finished, density's good. The digital data of the PDF and the actual printed item match. So we can get on the run. So you've just seen how quickly we were able to complete that quality inspection. And we're now starting the production printing and we'll grab a sample. So we're printing 400 sheets of an image from an imposition that has 30 packages of the medicine. So to test the comparison, we put a small red dot on around the 400 sheet, thank you. A little red dot with a felt tip pen, we popped on one of the sheets. The question is, can the PQAS version 5 system with the 4K camera detect such a small defect? And Will the number printed by the inkjet sheet numbering system be correct? A 
Okay, so we're at 18,000 SPH now. That's the maximum print speed. And the display on the KID will switch to the version 5 screen. Okay, the color control graph is on the screen at the moment. We'll just see if that camera can do its work and locate that defect. Okay, there's the defect, as you can see on the screen. And it's blinking red, showing you where the defect is. Just grab the sheet out. Now for traceability, the number of the defective sheet that was printed by the inkjet numbering system is also displayed on the monitor and it says it's 436. Is it the same? 436. Well done. He, he's getting very good at this. Thank you, your own. So the strict quality control needed for package printing can be performed with the sheet numbering system and the PQAS version 5. So we've done the two packaging jobs on the Lithrone GX40, but there are many other different types of packaging other than single-sided mass production, as you know. For example, ultra-short-run personal packaging. So if we take a look at the packaging now that's done on the Impremia IS29, which is to your left-hand side on the stand, the IS29 is Kamori's UV inkjet digital print system. Here comes my sample. Thank you very much, Misha. And you can see the video of the delivery here on the screen. Thank you. Now, the device is output in this order, just 50 packages for a special customer. So for on-demand personal packaging, the Impremia IS29 has an overwhelming advantage in cost and in turnaround. And that's because plates aren't necessary and stock up to 0.6 millimeters in thickness can be printed. So that's one sample. This one has fine post-press processing, which is done by laser and the Hycon Euclid 2. And by connecting offset with digital and then post-press, Kamori is meeting diverse packaging needs, from long runs to personal on-demand packaging. And these are Kamori's packaging solutions. You can count on Kamori as we evolve into a print engineering solutions provider. Now, if you have any questions at all about the demonstration or the press, then please do ask the Kamori representatives who are here on the stand. Have a lovely day. Stay with us. We've got lots more demonstrations to come. Thank you, Jerome. Wonderful job as always. Thank you.